हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज़ अनदर वीडियो ऑफ ई डी एजुकेशन सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन फिल आर जी के एस स्कॉलरशिप एप्लीकेशन इफ वी आर अप्लाइंग फॉर मेडिसिन बिकॉज यू नो मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग प्रॉब्लम वाइल अप्लाइंग फॉर मेडिकल फील्ड एज सोल नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी वॉज द ओनली यूनिवर्सिटी विच वॉज प्रोवाइडिंग मेडिसिन कोर्स so yeah there was many uh, blogs and many columns in which students were having problem uh, while filling out the form so yeah i'm right here to help you all so the very first thing we are going to do is of course that we will download the application form now here you can watch out all the steps which i have done for downloading this application form and after it get downloaded i'll open it with word now you can download this application because it will help you all if you are filling out your form with the help of mobile phone because you know usually students uh, um, fill out their form on um, laptops and computers but you know there are many students who don't have any sort of laptop or computer available with them so you know you can fill out your form with the help of your mobile phone एंड इट्स नथिंग टू बी अशेम्ड ऑफ इसमें कुछ भी शर्माने वाली बात नहीं है अगर आपके पास लैपटॉप या कंप्यूटर नहीं है आप अपना एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म अपने फ़ोन से भी भर सकते हो एंड यूट्यूब पर ऑलरेडी बहुत सारी वीडियोज़ हैं अबाउट अपना आप फॉर्म कैसे भर सकते हो बट मोस्टली वो लोग अपना फॉर्म जो है लैपटॉप या कंप्यूटर से भरते हैं सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट कि स्टूडेंट्स को ये फील हो दैट दे आर लेफ्ट आउट सब वेयर तो मैं उनकी हेल्प करने के लिए आई एम जस्ट हेयर टू टेल यू ऑल कि आप अपना एप्लीकेशन फ़ोन से भी भर सकते हो कोई घबराने की बात नहीं है बहुत आराम से भरा जाएगा बहुत इजी फॉर्म है सो so, या yeah, मैं आपको दिखाऊंगी कि आप अपने फ़ोन पे कैसे भर सकते हो तो सबसे पहली बात यू हैव टू डाउनलोड द एप्लीकेशन दैट इज़ वर्ड एंड विद हेल्प ऑफ वर्ड वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो फिल आउट द होल फॉर्म नाउ एज यू कैन सी आई हैव ओपन माई एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्ड एंड नाव वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फिलिंग आउट द फॉर्म फ्राम दिस नेम ऑफ एप्लीकेंट ब्लैंक उसके ऊपर का जो भी है उसमें आपको कुछ नहीं करना यू डोंट हैव टू टच एनी थिंग अब नेम ऑफ एप्लीकेंट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट राइटिंग फ्रॉम नेम ऑफ एप्लीकेंट ब्लैंक तो सबसे पहले हम लोग अपना नाम लिखेंगे फॉर राइटिंग आउट द नेम यू कैन सी दैट यहाँ पे पेंसिल बनी है आप उसको क्लिक करेंगे देन यू कैन राइट योर नेम ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू राइट योर सर नेम मैं बस ऐसे ही लिख रही हूँ मैं आप दिखाने के लिए कि यहाँ पे ये राइटेबल फॉर्म में होता है सो ये बहुत इजी है उसमें कुछ नहीं करना है देन अगर आपको कहीं क्लिक करना है सो यू जस्ट हैव टू टैप ऑन द बॉक्स एंड वहाँ पे क्लिक अपने आप बन के आ जाएगा सो इट्स वेरी इजी देन आपका जो भी गिवन नेम है आपको वो लिखना है देन योर मिडल नेम इफ़ यू हैव सम आपको वो लिखना है देन इफ़ यू हैव द यू नो योर डिज़ायर प्रोग्राम वॉट यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर इज इट अ बैचलर्स डिग्री और असोसिएट डिग्री यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दैट देन दिस checklist we will check all this thing in the last after filling out the form so i am leaving this for now now you can see that this is form number 1 application and now here you have to click either you want to apply through mbc track or university track you have to click either one of them then if you are applying from mbc track so are you journal or overseas so of course you are journal and then if you are applying from university track so you have to check on bachelor's program or associate program whichever is your desired program you are applying for now as you can see here that you can edit out all the places you want first you have to write your name then you have to make several checks on several boxes and also i want to say that remember one thing that if you are writing in your name in the pattern of x y and z please follow the same pattern throughout your application form if your name is x y and z please write it in the form of x y and z don't ever change the sequence of your name in your application form from places to places now many students have confusion about photo that what you have to do with photo so you know you have to stick out your photo after printing out the application form your photo should not be in digital format so yes you have to first print out the application form and after that you have to stick out your photo in the given size like the size is given so you have to stick your photo according to that size then you have to write your date of birth your country and then your citizenship so of course you are not korean so you will check the box of no then you have to write your contact information about your address then your phone uh, it should be included with the country code that is plus 91 for india 
then you have to write your email address and please provide a email address which you are active on because any information about gk scholarship and your selection will be uh, emailed you like they will contact you through your email address so please provide email address which you are using please don't give any email address which you are not using or which you are not active on then you have to provide information about your recently graduated school which means the the school which from where you have completed your 12th standard and if you have not completed so the school from which you are going to complete your um, schooling your 12th standard and here you can see that it is mentioned you have to provide fax number so in you know mostly schools with 12th standard of class don't have fax number like mostly it happens that they don't have fax number so if you your school is not having fax number so you have to just leave out the place there is nothing a uh, issue about it so yes you can leave out the place now here you have to write about your language abilities so if you have any language test you can write it over here and if you have any awards available awards means you have any certificate or something like that you can write it about about those certificates and awards over here and please mention those certificates and awards which are related to your course and which are related to your uh, program which you are applying for also many students have doubt ki hum log kaun se apne standard ke awards and certificate de sakte hain kaun se standard tak ke de sakte hain so i will advise you that aap jis bhi standard tak ke apne marks provide karne wale ho usi standard tak ke aap apne awards bhi uh, attach karna saath mein like if you are applying sorry if you are providing your grades your marks your gpa from the standard 10th so please aap apne awards bhi 10th standard se leke 10th 11th 12th ke provide karna and agar if aap apne marks jo hai wo 9th standard se bata rahe hain so apne awards wagaira bhi jo hai wo 9th standard se aapko jo bhi award mile hai 9th 10th 11th 12th aap wo de sakte ho zyada purane first second standard ke mat dena kyunki wo bilkul bhi jo hai aapke form ke sath related nahi hai so सिर्फ उन्हीं क्लासेस के अवार्ड्स एंड सर्टिफिकेट्स के बारे में लिखना जो आप अपने फॉर्म में बताने वाले हो जो जिस क्लास के मार्क्स आप अपने फॉर्म में बताने वाले हो आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू राइट अबाउट योर यूनिवर्सिटी यू आर चूजिंग एंड यू आर गोइंग फॉर सो इफ यू आर अप्लाइंग थ्रू एम्बेसी ट्रैक यू हैव थ्री ऑप्शन ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी फर्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट any university between type a and type b then second type a and type b but on the third one you have to write type b which means that you have to select at least one university from the list of type b universities and then if you are applying for university track so you don't have to uh, do anything you just have to select any one university also i want to say that especially for those who are applying for medicine field they don't have any option like seoul national university is the only university which provide uh, medicine which is supporting medicine through gk scholarship and seoul national university falls under the list of embassy track universities which means that you have to apply for three universities like you can't go for university track although seoul national university is the only one university which is providing medicine but as it is in the list of embassy track universities so you have to apply through embassy track now students are having problem that what we have to write in the remaining column because when you are applying through embassy track you have to write names of three university but for medicine there is only one university available so what you have to do is you have to first write one university that is seoul national university that should be your top priority you have to write the name of seoul national university on the top like first you have to write seoul national university and you have to write about medicine that you are applying for medicine and then in the remaining section you have to write any other university like you just have to write the name it's a formality which you have to fulfill so you know you can write any university name but i will suggest you to write the name of department which is in very close contact with medicine like you can write for food nutritionist or you can uh, write for psychologist or any other uh, course which you see that is in very co close contact with medicine course 
and yes you have to write three different uh, sorry two more different names of university so your first name should be seoul national university and your course should be medicine but other than that you can write any other university and other, any other department because they will understand the thing that you know your main target was for applying for medicine but because of this uh you know issue with the gks scholarship form like it's not your fault it's something which is in the application form and in the guideline so i hope that in the coming year this thing will be resolved they will do something especially for those who are applying for medicine or maybe more university will come and will support medicine from you know coming years but for now if the situation will remain same if the application and guideline will remain same in the coming year so what you have to do i am suggesting you that way so okay so if agar form agle saal bhi change nahi hote aur isi saal se isi tarike se aate hain so aapko aise hi likhna hai ki sabse pehle seoul national university ka naam likhna hai aur course mein jo hai medicine course dalna hai baki do jo university ke naam hai aap wo kuch aur likh sakte hain koi aur department dal sakte hain और वो समझ जाएंगे कि आप एक्चुअली जो है वो मेडिसिन के लिए ही अप्लाई कर रहे थे बट बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरेंस और बिकॉज ऑफ दैट लैग इन द एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म आपने ऐसा लिखा है सो या एक बहुत ही अंडरस्टैंडेबल थिंग है इसमें कोई फिक्र करने वाली बात नहीं है देन नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू मैंशन अबाउट योर रिसेंटली अटेंडेड स्कूल सो हेयर ऑल्सो आई विल सजेस्ट यू दैट प्लीज राइट नेम ऑफ दो स्कूल विच यू हैव अटेंडेड इन द पास थ्री और फोर ईयर्स लाइक the same as you are providing your grade आप जिस भी क्लास के अपने मार्क्स प्रोवाइड करने वाले हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप अपने नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड से मार्क्स प्रोवाइड करने वाले हो तो आपने अपने नाइन्थ से लेकर ट्वेल्थ तक में जो भी स्कूल चेंज किए आप उस स्कूल के बारे में लिखिए उस स्कूल के बारे में इन्फॉर्मेशन दीजिए उससे ज़्यादा प्राइमरी और अपने सीनियर के जी और अपने प्ले ग्रुप तक जाने की ज़रूरत नहीं है सिर्फ जो आपके रिसेंटली अटेंडेड स्कूल है आपको उसके बारे में इन्फॉर्मेशन देनी है Now here comes the main part. You have to provide your marks, your percentage, your GPA, your CGPA, everything over here. जिस भी format में आप देना चाहते हो So you can see कि आपके पास तीन साल sorry. You can see that आप अपने तीन साल के marks दे सकते हो But अगर आपको और ज़्यादा देना है अपने पिछले चार साल के marks देने हैं तो आप इस block को खाली करके यहाँ पर अपना fourth year लिख के उसके बाद यहाँ पर भी अपने marks आप डाल सकते हो ओके यहाँ पे ऐसा लिखा हुआ है कि आप इसमें चेंजेस खुद से कर सकते हो सो यहाँ पे यू हैव टू राइट योर फोर्थ ईयर एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट अबाउट द मार्क्स ऑफ फोर्थ ईयर नो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव कन्फ्यूजन दैट फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ईयर ये किस फॉर्मेट में होना चाहिए लाइक फर्स्ट ईयर में हमारा ट्वेल्थ आएगा हम ट्वेल्थ से स्टार्ट करें या फर्स्ट ईयर में हम नाइन्थ से स्टार्ट करें सो फ्रॉम वेर यू हैव टू स्टार्ट सो लेट मी टेल यू दैट इट शुड बी इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ योर 9, 10, 11, 12th, or if you are giving marks from 10th standard, so it should be in the order of 10th, 11th, and 12th. Like first, you have to provide your 9th standard marks, then your 10th, then your 11th, then your 12th. So this should be the sequence of giving your marks. Then many students have problem that in their school they don't have semesters like first and second semester. They only have the final marks, the final semester. so what you have to do is you you have to uh, leave this second block you just have to write your uh, whole year percentage or whole year uh, gpa in the column 1 then if you have any rank you can just mention about it or just leave it it doesn't matter then if you ever have stayed in korea you have to write about it the purpose of staying in korea then if you have received any scholarship you have to write about that scholarship so these are the thing you, which you have to uh, fill out then write down over here you can see that you have to write about uh, the year the month and date so basically you have to write the date on which you are filling out the form then you have to write your full name in the same sequence which you have written above then you have to do your signature now signature should be done um after printing out the application form so yes signature and photo is something which you don't have to do uh, in the digital format you have to do after may, uh, making the print out of the application form so after taking out the print out you have to stick your photo and you have to do signature 
okay so now i think that the video has become a very long one i also wish to explain you all about the personal statement and study plan that if you are applying for medicine how you can write your study plan and your personal statement because already i have mentioned about three universities right and three department so what we have to do with our study plan hame apna study plan kaise likhna hai aur you know humne teen department ke liye apply karna hai to hame study plan kis kis bare mein likhna hai kaise likhna hai kya प्रोसीजर है कैसा किस क्या क्या चीज़ें मेंशन करनी है मुझे उन सब चीज़ों के बारे में बताना था बट वीडियो पहले ही बहुत लंबा हो चुका है सो मैं ये जो है आपने सेकंड पार्ट के लिए रख देती हूँ एंड आपको सेकंड पार्ट में बताऊँगी कि हाउ यू कैन राइट योर पर्सनल स्टेटमेंट एंड स्टडी प्लान इफ़ यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर मेडिसिन इन अ राइट वे सो बस आज की वीडियो को यहीं ख़त्म करते हैं एंड आई होप दैट दिस वीडियो इज़ यूजफुल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड प्लीज़ शेयर इट विद दोज who are in need of this information and who are planning to apply for medicine through gk scholarship so that they can write their application form in a correct manner um if they are applying for medicine because medicine is something that we mostly youtubers are not talking about and information is very limited about medicine and how you can apply for medicine through gk scholarship because medicine ke liye apply karna thoda different ho jata hai baaki courses se because of the you know only soul national university is the only university which is providing medicine so thoda sa alag hai aur is bare mein zyada koi batata nahi hai ki hame kis tarah se apply karna hai so yeah maine aapki help karne ki koshish ki hai and if you like the video please share it with those who are in need of this video thank you so much for watching my video bye bye love love